in today's video we've got another location to share with you for up to 10 easy shinies you can get in your copy of pokemon scarlet and violet so it has been a little while since we covered one of these shiny location videos but we've got a great spot to share with you today like i said you can get up to 10 easy shinies in your game pretty easily just from this one location so the location that you're going to want to look for in your map it's not the quickest to get to but you want to be heading up to the north province area one in this area here and it's this like little beach area here which is kind of northeast direction from montanavera and once you're at this pokemon center you want to just come right behind it and head up this cliff onto the glissado mountain and then just head directly down to this beach area here and you'll just come to this little inlet here down in this direction and you'll want to head towards Towards this grassy area just in front of us here so when you reach this location i'll just pull it up on the map so you can see exactly where we are we're right here this is the location mark that we had we'll move that destination but we are in the north province area one but in this beach area here and this is the exact spot that we want to be in front of this rock now and you can see we've got a good view of everything in front of us and normally if you try and set a picnic up around this area you're not going to be able to because of the slope but the ability that the rock allows us to do is actually set up a picnic if we position ourselves just right in front of it here just like this you're going to be able to kind of set up your picnic right here which is exactly what we want for this sort of method that we're going to be performing in this video so uh, once you are in this right location you're able to set your picnic up the first thing that you're going to want to do is drop a save right in this location before you set any sort of sandwiches up at all this will of course involve a shiny sparkling uh, level three sandwich for varying different types and we'll go over all of the pokemon like we mentioned there's about 10 or more pokemon that you're going to be able to access using this method in this one location so a great spot to come to and hunt multiple shiny pokemon pretty easily in your games so once you've got that save done set up a picnic and you'll come to make a sandwich i will link some sandwich recipes in the description below if you want to do them yourself the first hunt that we're going to go for here in this particular location and it's probably the best one i think in this location in general there's some really good pokemon that you're able to hunt but the best one i feel that you can go for is going to be lichen rock and it's going to be for all three lichen rock forms depending on the time of day that you come and hunt this pokemon so for the recipe that we'll be using is one portion of cucumber one portion of pickle and then we want to come down and we want three portions of bacon and then you can mix and match your herba mystica just refer, refer to the guides that we've got here and that will kind of show you what Herba Mystica you can mix and match for the varying types that we'll be going after in this guide. Bacon always looks so weird in this game. I've never seen bacon that actually looks like this in real life, but this is a big sandwich. Oh, we don't want to lose a cucumber. There we go. Okay, we managed to get all our bacon on. Delicious looking sandwich. And there you can see, once you've got the sandwich set up, you will have that sparkling power for rock, the title power for rock, and encounter power for rock level three. That is what we are aiming for with this method. And once you You've got it set up all you want to do is then reposition yourself at the bottom of that rock and then take your picnic down now depending on the time of day it is you are going to get a variety of different lichen rocks spawning in this area you're going to get the midday form you're going to get the midnight form and you're going to get the dusk form so all three of them do appear in this one area just make sure you are setting up your picnic if none of the shinies appear where you're in a good position where you can reset your picnic up and then despawn everything that spawns in on the field in front of you and then just take your picnic down again and the spawns will come back in you'll be able to kind of see them all in front of you here and they'll all spawn in the thing is with lichen rock it's a really easy shiny to spot it's a nice blue color so you're going to be able to spot it pretty easily if you want to zoom in a little bit further on any of them though if you need to use the double tapping of your home button on your controller and that will zoom in a little bit further so you can get a detailed look try not to use your camera because you're just going to get blocked out by the the view here of this rock that you're kind of using to set your picnic up so double tap your home button and you'll be able to kind of zoom in a lot better and kind of have a, a clearer look at the field and for some of the other hunts that we'll cover in this video it will be very useful to make sure you've got that active hit your home menu come down to your system settings then down into system and then down into the zoom function which will be a little way down here and just make sure that it is toggled on when it is you'll be able to in your game just hit that double tap 
of your home button and you can use the Y and the X button to zoom in a little bit further or zoom out if you need to. But if none of the shinies are present on the field once you've taken your picnic down, you just need to repeat the process, set your picnic up once again and then you'll be able to take it down and respawn some new lichen rock or whatever you're hunting from this method onto the field. And you'll just rinse and repeat this process until the shiny does spawn in. Obviously turning into night, so that midnight form lichen rock, and that is when the shiny appeared. And we do manage to get the shiny pretty quickly in one sandwich with this one. Just have a little bit of patience. You might not get the shiny the first time round when you are using this method because you only have that 30 minutes, but that that's why we saved at the start of this process before we set the sandwich up. So if you don't get the shiny in the 30 minutes, you can just reset your game, set the sandwich up again and kind of repeat the whole process again until you do get the shiny that you're looking for. But as you can see here, we managed to get ourselves the Midnight Lycan Rock, which is probably one of my favorite designs for Lycan Rock. I do like all of them, but we get it in a Moon Ball. We are using a false swipe user as well in our scissor. So make sure that we can get the Pokemon down to one HP, just increasing those catch rates. And it is advisable before before you encounter the shiny Pokemon, just drop an additional save there. If you are using a special Pokeball in particular, it will mean if you miss the catch with that special Pokeball, like an Apricorn Ball or something like that, then you can again reset your game to encounter the shiny once again. So you're not wasting those special Pokeballs because they are very difficult to come by. So that is the Lycan Rock, all three forms of it. I think one of the best locations in the game for being able to use this method, this isolated method of just setting up your picnic, taking it down again to get the Lycan Rock. Very easy to spot and you shouldn't have any trouble in your game hunting it other than that Dusk form, which might be a little bit trickier just because of the time slot that you've got when that Pokemon does appear and then disappear again. So the next Pokemon that we're going to go after in this hunt is going to be for Lucario, for Riolu and Halucha. So once again, set your picnic up and this time you're going to want to set a level three sparkling power and encounter power sandwich up for fighting type Pokemon. Like I said, it's not going to be specifically just for one type of Pokemon here because a number of fighting type Pokemon spawn in this location, including Pormy and Gallade. Gallade is a very rare spawn though using this method. So if you get a shiny Gallade using this method, you're very lucky, but it is a possibility of course as well. The more popular spawn that you're going to get from this location with the fighting type sandwich is going to be Halucha. And then occasionally you're going to get families of Riolu with Lucarios in there for that shiny that Pokemon. Now for this recipe we used one cucumber, one pickle and then three additional pickles and then we've mixed up two Herba Mystica so we are able to get that Encounter Power level three and the Sparkling level three for fighting type Pokemon. And there we go straight away in with the shiny Riolu there. So you can see the family of Lucario Riolu popping up on the field in front of us. We are using that zoom function, although it's pretty obvious when the shiny Riolu spawned in there and we get it very early on in this hunt. So that is any that you're gonna be able to obtain pretty easily in the games. Just bear in mind that the Lucario is a bit more of a rarer spawn. So if you are going specifically after this Lucario and and Riolu in this hunt. It may take a little bit longer and may require resetting and setting up the sandwich multiple times before you do get the shiny, but it is a decent spot where they are gonna spawn alongside the Halucha, which is a very nice shiny as well that you can get in your games. And there we go, we finally get the shiny Halucha, and that hasn't taken like too long for us to spawn this one in. So you can, once the shiny does appear, make sure you do save before you go for it, especially if you want to go for it in a special Pokeball or anything like that. And then if it does go wrong, you can at least come back into the game, reload it, and then go for the catch once again. But as easy as that to get your shiny, obviously you can, like I've already mentioned, get the Lucario and things like that, as well as the Gallade and the Pormy with just this one sandwich. But Halucha are gonna be the main Pokemon that does spawn in this area. It's always advisable as well to have something like a false swipe user that's a good high level. So you can get these Pokemon down to level one. It'll make it easier to catch them. Uh, in your game and then like you say if you are going for them with a special pokeball in particular and we'll use a lure ball for this one and like i say because we have saved if we do miss the catch then we can come back to it and just restart the game and then locate the shiny once again try it again with the same ball let's try once again with this lure ball is it going to be enough to get it this time we do eventually get it in the lure ball which is great so yeah it's always worth saving your game so you can reset come back into it and get it uh, so you don't lose the ball 
when you do attempt to get it but there is the shiny halucha the only issue with restarting your game is you do lose that sparkling power when you restart your game but very worthwhile for this halucha and with the sandwich sparkling power active you can get the halucha you can get the lucario very rarely you might get lucky and get the Galade, but they're the three main pokemon that you're going to be looking for the lucario the riolu and this halucha with this one sandwich in this location and a great pokemon to get no mark on it though but very nice in a lure ball next pokemon that we are going to hunt in this location is for amphros shiny amphros and mareep as well do spawn in here in their families of mareep with an amphros in the middle so to set this up again just set another picnic up and then we want to set up a encounter and sparkling power level three sandwich for electric types going off our standard recipe one cucumber one pickle and three yellow peppers will give you the encounter and sparkling power level three for electric types and again just apply the same method as we've used already in this guide just to set your picnic up to despawn everything on the field in front of you and then you can take down your picnic again to respawn the pokemon and do that over and over and over again for the 30 minutes until the shiny does spawn in and we do get very lucky with the mareep here we get a nice shiny mareep which we will evolve into an ampharos but uh, i was hoping for the ampharos to kind of spawn in this location but because you're getting more mareeps kind of spawning in every time you take your picnic down and set it up again uh, it does make it more likely that the mareep will be shiny over the ampharos but a really nice shiny and an easy hunt as well you are going to get poor me spawning in here as well and the rarest spawn that i haven't really seen at all but is possible in this location is going to be belly bolt so you will get belly bolt spawning in here as well but predominantly going to be those mareep and amphoros so a really good location for this specific pokemon in the games next pokemon that we are going to be hunting is going to be for axew for that shiny haxorus so a dragon type pokemon and not the easiest pokemon to shine in an isolated kind of area but it is accessible right here and alongside altaria and swablu they're going to appear in family groups so again you want to just save your game before you start this set up your picnic and then set up a sandwich for a dragon encounter and sparkling power level three that will be one cucumber one pickle and then three portions of avocado then a mix of your herba mystica to make sure that you do get correct sparkling and encounter power on this and then again just rinse and repeat the process that we've been doing taking down your picnic setting it up again and you will see sporadically uh, families of the swablu with the alteria and you will get families of the axew and then the fracture that is going to be its second evolution popping up in this area the only issue with this hunt is the Axie are really difficult to spot because they're so small and the grass is quite long here. It does mean that it is a little bit trickier to spot when the shiny does spawn in. So it's worth using that double tapping of your home menu zoom function to just look at each one when they do spawn in and then make sure you do check them. Pretty easy to see the shiny when it does spawn in because the scarf piece on the normal Axie is green, whereas the scarf piece is uh, purple on the shiny and it is a more kind of yellower color rather than the green of the original axu so you can spot it pretty easily but it's easier if you use the zoom function and there we go we do get the shiny axu in the game which is amazing because haxorus has to be one of the best shinies that we've got access to in the whole pokeverse a really cool dragon type shiny that we can add to our collection and it's easy as that and of course you can hunt for swablu and alteria as well using the same method um to get those as shinies in your game if you like but the aim of this one for us was definitely to get that axio which we can now evolve into the haxorus the next one that you can hunt pretty easily in this location is going to be for scovillian and also Flareon if you want to go for that evolution. Now, again, using the same method as before, you want to just drop a save before you start this process and then set up your picnic and set up a sandwich, which is going to give you the level three encounter power and level three sparkling power for fire type Pokemon. Again, refer to the recipes that will be linked in the description. But again, we're going to use one cucumber, one pickle, and then three red peppers, and then mix our Herba Mystica to get the encounter power and the sparkling 
up on power level three for fire types. And again, just rinse and repeat the process that we've been doing so far. Take down your picnics, see the spawns come in. The Scovillian will be the more popular spawn in this location. So it's gonna be the one that we are hunting for because it is a pretty nice shiny. Easy to spot as well with that yellow coloration to its opposed to its normal green coloration. And then uh, if the shiny doesn't spawn in when you take your picnic down, set your picnic up again, get rid of all the spawns on the field and just rinse and repeat until that shiny does come in. But keep an eye out for the Flareons as well because they are going to be probably a little bit rarer, but they will be spawning in amongst the Scovillians as well. So you may get a shiny of those while you are hunting the Scovillian uh, in this particular location. And there we go. We finally get the Scovillian. This one eluded us for a lot. This was the third sandwich we had to set up until we did get the shiny Scovillian kind of coming in in this game, but very well worth it. I love the shiny of this Pokemon. It's very nice. So nice one to add to the collection and also pretty good location to come uh, and just hunt for it pretty easily in your games with very little effort. And the final sandwich that we are going to set up in today's video uh, for two Pokemon uh, specifically is going to be a fairy type encounter power level three and spot power sandwich so to do this the recipe would be one cucumber one pickle and then three portions of tomatoes and once you've got that set up in your game you'll get the encounter power level three and sparkling power level three and this is going to spawn in families of jigglypuff and wigglytuff as well as a bunch of probably the more common spawn in this area which is going to be tinkertuff so tinkertuff a really nice shiny to get scarlet and violet exclusive of course and you want to be looking out for that bronze hammer opposed to the silver hammer that it normally has again the jigglypuff are going to spawn in alongside it and they're going to be jigglypuff families with a wigglytuff in the middle they are a little bit more tricky to spot because they have a slightly different coloration of pink to them but it's their eyes that you want to keep an eye on. The regular forms of these Pokemon have blue eyes and the shiny forms have green eyes. And there you can go, you can see once we repeat the method of setting up our picnic to despawn everything, taking it down to respawn things onto the field, we finally get a shiny Jigglypuff. And this was definitely one that I used that zoom function for because the, the Jigglypuff are really hard to identify. And uh, you can see with the zoom function, it does make it a little bit easier to kind of differentiate between the blue eyes in the green eyes although the lighting in this area can be a little bit deceiving on the time of day so sometimes it is worth just walking up to the groups of them they're not really aggressive pokemon so they're not going to attack you you'll have an easy time setting up your camera in front of them and being able to identify if it is the shiny or not but as you can see this one is the shiny and we are able to get it and we catch it in a friend ball actually because friend ball to match those eyes but then you can carry on if you've got sandwich power left of course you can go for that shiny tinker tough while you are here and then get the shiny Tinkerton, which is the fully evolved version of it but a really nice location for that pokemon as well we have covered that before in a different location on the channel but i do feel like this location specifically for Tinkertuff, to get a shiny Tinkerton is a very good location for it and you can get some nice options here uh, in a location that i wasn't really aware of and just kind of stumbled across in my game so I wanted to share this location where you can hunt pretty easily for these specific shiny Pokemon that we've covered in today's video there are other Pokemon that you can hunt here as well by setting up other sparkling power sandwiches for like grass types and things like that but these specific Pokemon I found to be the easiest ones to hunt and some of the Pokemon that haven't really been covered using these methods before so I hope you found this guide useful for these specific Pokemon to hunt in your game, specifically the Lycanroc. I think it's a really great location for all three different Lycanroc forms that you can get in the game. You can set up that rock, the encounter power and the sparkling power for rock types and kind of just cycle through a day as well. You know, you can set it up in the late afternoon. So you hit that dusk cycle. So you've got a chance to get the dusk form and then you've got the chance to get the midnight form before that sparkling power sandwich runs out. So you can kind of get all three lichen rocks potentially from this one location pretty easily with a nice easy sandwich and you're going to get a lot of lichen rock spawning in every time you despawn the picnic as well so that is everything that we were going to cover in today's video i hope you found it useful do let me know if you have any success with hunting for any of the pokemon that we've covered in today's video there are 10 or more pokemon that you're going to be able to hunt in this location again some of them are more rarer than others but all in all it's a great spot to come to grab yourself some 
shiny Pokemon. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know what Pokemon you'll be hunting for from this guide. Do drop a like if you found it useful and hit the subscribe button if you want to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. Thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Good luck with your shiny hunts, and I'll catch you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care of yourselves, and bye-bye.